All right, let's talk about dividing fractions. So same rules apply. If the signs are the same, answer stays positive. If the signs are different, answer will be negative. The saying you need to remember when with fractions and division, when dividing, don't ask why, flip the second, multiply. That is the saying. So that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to keep the first one. So negative 2 thirds divided by 1 third. When dividing, don't ask why, flip the second. So we're going to flip this second fraction or make it its reciprocal, which would be now 3 over 1. Don't ask why, flip the second, and we'll change division to multiplying. So now we're just doing what we did before. Negative 2 times 3 is negative 6. And 3 times 1 is 3. And then negative 6 over 3 reduces to negative 2. That's it. For the next one, we're going to do the same thing. So we put neg um, positive 7 eighths. We flip our second fraction. So it's now 6 over negative 1. And we change it to multiplying. So this would then, uh, we can do some cross-canceling here. 8 and 6 are both even. So I'm going to divide each by 2. So that becomes a 3. That becomes a 4. 7 times 3 is 21. 4 times negative 1 is negative 4. And you can leave your answer as a reduced improper fraction. All right, so we have negative 1 and 2 sevenths divided by negative 4 sevenths. So let's first change this mixed number into an improper fraction. 1 times 7 is 7, plus 2 is 9, so it's negative 9 over 7. And then we'll change to multiplying. And the second fraction, we're going to flip. This negative will go with the 4. So it will be now 7 over negative 4. So we can cross cancel. These are both 7s. So let's divide each by 7, which will result in a 1. Negative 9 times 1 is negative 9. 1 times negative 4 is negative 4. Now we have two negative signs. And like I said before, um, if we're multiplying two negatives, they become a positive. So it's not negative 9 over negative 4. Our answer is just 9 over 4. Last one. <clears throat> so we're going to convert both these mixed numbers. And they're both negative, so our answer will be positive. So 3 times 8, 24, plus 3 is 27. And that will be negative 27 over 8. And we'll do this in steps. Uh, 1 times 4 is 4, plus 1 is 5, so negative 5 over 4. Now we will flip our second. So this will become 4 over negative 5 and we'll change it to multiplying. Now let's cross cancel. So 8 and 4. 4 goes into both. So we'll say 8 divided by 4 is 2. 4 divided by 4 is 1. Negative 27 times 1 is negative 27. 2 times negative 5 is negative 10. And we would have two negatives, so our answer will be 27 over 10. And that is your answer as a reduced improper fraction.